folks, this is uh, day four of the lockdown. Still a lovely sunny day, and while it's like this, I'm going to be outside. Uh, I'm saving the uh, gloss painting in the house until uh, the weather gets crappy. So when it's raining and windy, and we are uh, expecting cold spell this weekend. That's when I'll do the painting. Right. Now I've got me uh, the new air cup. Uh, we'll talk about the rifle. It's an AGS PCR one, and that the AGS with three gun sports. That's a pre-charged rifle, one meant as single shot. It's a nice little rifle. Uh, it was uh, the rifle that was part of the Webley group, so anything that needed servicing used to go to Webley. But it came in two different stocks. This one is the thermal stock, and it also came with a, a skeleton stock as well. But basically, this pot was cut out. Uh, it came with a silencer on it, uh, cross bolt safety. Which is really nice. It's, uh, you can you can uh, switch it off with your index finger near the trigger. Got nice trigger guard, all metal. Well made rifle, but not a very big cylinder on it, so you didn't get too many shots. But it was accurate. Uh, it's got an adjustable foot plate on it, which some of the thousand pound rifles don't even have adjustable foot pads for some reason, but uh, this one did. And I think when it was uh, brand new, even with the two stocks, it was only about £350, so really good value. Uh, they did come in 22 and 177, and this one is the 22 version. So, what I've got today, I'm using uh, this Lee Pest Control by Barracuda Hunter. Both made in the same factory, but they are different. The, uh, the hollow point on the Bisley uh, pass control is a bit bigger than the ones on the uh, Barracuda and I think these have got more antimony added to the lead because these are definitely harder than the normal pass control and these pass controls are very good for expansion uh, I've got 12 pallets in here so I could do with some more actually uh, there's a few more in this one, probably about 40 in that, but that's what I'm using today. And the good thing with the hollow points is they tend to work a bit like rod cutters, you get a nice clean hole normally when you hit the target. And then uh, if, it, if it's uh, full pass control, it does expand and it, it does the job. So then we'll get on with some uh, zeroing. Uh, so I'm going to use five shots to zero, five shots to do the uh, target, and then I've got a little uh, orange and little egg down there. We'll see what what it actually does to those. So we'll get on with the test. I've got the uh, FX chronograph on. We'll see what kind of power it's putting out. Both these pellets weigh. Uh, 18.21 grains, so they're fairly heavy pellets and accurate, depending on the rifle and the barrel you're using, accurate out to no more than about 30 yards with a PCP that's sub 12 foot pad. You might get better results if you've got more power, but uh, I'd stick to around 20 yards to be honest. So uh, we'll get on with a test. Shooting at 18 yards I'm using a bipod. And I'll set the uh, chronograph up. Five pence coin.
that orange. We need some work doing on it.
didn't realise the egg had gone. That's why I've got the orange instead. Very good. The rifle needs some work doing. Folks, I've got uh, two pistols in front of me, both over 40 years old, both needing work doing on. Now, I had them in a bag while I moved between houses, and on opening the bag the other day, I noticed that uh, there was damage to the surface of the barrel on the crossman to the piston cylinder on the ASI centre pistol and that was caused through uh, a bottle of gum blue leaking and some of you probably know it's acidic. Uh, I've got some gum blue here and it actually says it's uh, selling us acid so acid and metal don't uh, get on so it's scarred along there just there so I've, I've rubbed it down and it did the same on this one right across there you can still see the mark on it <clears throat> so I rubbed it down with some uh, heavy duty paper and I've got some fine paper to finish it off and then I ordered uh, a tube of this from uh, GS Rams bottom and it is uh, virtual KC perma blue paste gum glue so basically it uh, goes on as a paste you rub it in you leave it a while till it goes black and then you wash it off and it's important it gets washed off otherwise it'll end up uh, burning through the metal so that's how you do it with all the uh, gum blues <clears throat> this one you can either use as a touch up or a complete blue in but uh, what I'll do with these 
I just blew this cylinder. I'll probably do the barrel, don't they? Uh, on the uh, crossman, I'll do the barrel. Uh, I say the crossman, I do need a new valve on it. I was thinking of putting a flat top piston in it. It's the one that's in it now, it just don't work right. I've changed the seals on it, but there's just no power in it. Uh, very accurate pistol, the ASI. It's a side sliding breech, so you basically cock the action and the pellet goes in from the rear. Slide it forward and it's ready to go. So I'll just fire that one off into uh, my uh, black box and then I'll get on with gluing these two guns. Okay then, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, take the bottom part of the action off, so when I blew it, it don't go onto that. And to do that we've got three screws, one at the back and two at the front, so I'll remove them, rub it down and we'll treat this one first. Probably do with some new screws for this. Instead of using flat top, I'd use uh, Allen bolts, I think. So that's that off. You can see where it's. I don't know if you can see the line there, it went right into the breech as well. And I had to rub this down because it had, uh, it had done something where it made it really tight. crossman pistol there was a pin going through here and a little split washer and it's dead awkward to get out so they were I decided to put a allen bolt and nut through it makes it a lot easier it's got a spring washer on it now keeps it nice and tight <coughs> so then just a bit more on there right? Okay, I think that's about right. I'll rub it down with a cloth. I'll put the uh, permeable on it. Uh, what it says about the product it says virtual casing perma blue paste gun blue offers a rich, durable, and long lasting finish for touch up or complete re bluing. Designed to react slowly, it will darken the metal with each application to give a dense lasting finish. Metal must be clean and free from dust before application. Protect and enhance uh, the new finish with Birchwood Casely Barricade Rust Protection Oil. Or oil. Uh, 
permeably paste will not uh, blue stainless steel, aluminium or non-ferrous metal contains salinous acid, avoid contact with eyes and prolong contact with the skin. In case of contact, flush with water thoroughly. For eyes, get uh, medical attention immediately. Uh, caution, rubber gloves and eye protection are recommended when using this product. That's basically it. So we'll get on with it. Okay then, I've uh, sanded the gum down. I've used steel wool on it as well. I've wiped it all off, clean it down. And I'm going to apply it. You can either use a cloth or, or a sponge. As you can see it's just like a blue paste. See it's already turning black. It does say it's slow reacting, but uh, you can definitely see it there. turning now. No, it's not doing too bad actually. <clears throat> it's blended in really well. got the barrel to do as well. I think I'll make sure that's finished first and then I'll come onto the barrel. Right, what I'm going to do now is get some water and I'm going to wash it off. Okay then. I'll wipe it down with some paper and we'll do the barrel and then we can do it again. That's uh, come up quite well actually. Okay, we'll do the barrel. That's come on quite well, that has. So we'll leave that for a minute. 
then we'll wash it off. Okay, that's a minute gone. So wash that off. Probably think, what are you doing putting water on this? But you have to make sure all the acid's gone. Neutralise it, and then after it, you put the oil on it, and that'll seal it. Okay, so that's the first coat. That'll give it one more coat, and that should do it. Okay, so not too bad actually. Okay, so that is the gun blues. Even if she's blueing, I can't go over it again. But it's, uh, it's sort of the problem out. And next up is the Crossman. Okay, then give the Crossman one coating of it. Just put a bit more on, then I'll wash it off. Okay, so we'll give that a minute, and we'll clean it off. On the, uh, up there. It's probably stainless steel there, so it probably not affect that. But. Okay, then we'll get on with the cleaning off. Look, we keep it uh, glued up with some red to uh, change the actual valve in it, and then I'll re blue it again. <coughs> so, I've got some uh, Abbey Gun oil. Notice this is the older version, it's not got a bolt on it, it's got a sliding breech. Just there, cock it, pull that back.
fairly easy enough to do. The deeper shine you get, the darker blue, the more coats you put on it.